it's only going to be 75 today. And you can see dark clouds rolling in and the grass is wet and it smells sort of like rain. So I'm excited. It's back from being really sunny to normal Oregon weather, which is good. I like the normal Portland weather. So this morning was crazy. Basically, I took two AP style tests, one in AP psychology and one in AP government. And the one in AP psychology was the one that I was really worried about. That's the one that I've been studying for for a while. And this isn't the official test. This is the in-class test to show if we're going to be ready for the test. And I studied for this test for a while, and I ended up getting an 82 out of 100, which is so much higher than the class average. And like on its own, it's a four on the AP test plus my freaks, which will bring it up more. So I'm not too worried about psych anymore, but I'm still going to study. And then on AP Gov, I ended up getting um, 41.5 out of 60, which while is still a D, it's a good score because that is a three, almost a three on the AP test. And then plus my freaks would bring it up more. So for both of the classes that I'm super freaking out about, I'm starting to feel a little more confident because I've been studying and today was a pretty good morning despite sitting in two different classes and taking tests and writing freaks forever. But yeah. So now I am in the costume room in search of a black long sleeve t-shirt for Sean because he's playing Batman and Batman wears black and Batman needs to have muscles. So it needs to be sort of tight. Because if there's one thing I learned from being a costume designer is that if you want someone to look like they have more muscles than they have, put them in a shirt that is smaller than they are, than they are so that it clings and shows more contact, contour, contouring, whatever that word is. It's not all that hot today, it's 75 degrees, but more than hot, it's humid, really humid. It's loud. BJs are my favorite days. And that's because I have two AP classes, a TA, and then a free period. So I get home super early, which gives me lots of time to do nothing. And it's beautiful, except for today, I have to wash the dogs and do chores and get ready to go shopping tonight. So that'll be fun. My dog is super unexcited right now. Casper puppy, is it bath time? Is it bath time? I think it's bath time. Come on. Come on. Come on, let's go take a bath. Come on. One dog done. And of course, I didn't clean him adequately enough, so he's finishing the job for me. Thanks, bub. I appreciate it. I know. You smell so weird. You smell so disgusting, like oatmeal and peppermint and human smells. Gross. It's your turn, little one. It's your turn. Are you ready? Are you ready to take a bath? Are you? You sound so excited. Either you want to take a bath or you're sucking up to me in hopes that I'll make you not take one. Which one is it? Hmm? What is it, little one? What is it? Nope, never mind. Guess who hates me now? Maybe the doggy and the towel. Do you hate me? Casey! <laughs> I'm hated! I just cleaned my house. It's clean. It took me an hour and a half to do. Whoa, he is a runner. Uh, it took me an hour and a half. Everything's clean. Everything in the kitchen and living room and dining room and main house is clean. Can I help you? That's what I thought. Are you happy? Oh my gosh! That's how things get stuck! And if you scrape mom's walls, she will murder you. The mailman dropped off mail. There was a package. I was super excited. I thought it was my Batman mask. It was Hot Wheels. We're going on a walk and we're so excited! Casey! Casey, come back! Come back here! Come on! Slow down! Nope. Run! Oh, that's as far as your leash goes. We're so excited. 
We're so excited! I have really weird friends. I was just watching Wednesday's vlog and the video and audio was all weird and so I was watching it to see how badly it actually was on YouTube. It's bad, but it's funny, so I'm just gonna leave it like that. Um, yeah, I have weird friends, but I love them, each and every one of them. And I'm glad that I get to keep some of them, because some of them are going to U of O next year with me. Oh yeah, I forgot, I hadn't even really mentioned it very much except for yesterday a little bit. I am going officially to the University of Oregon, which means that I am a duck. Yeah, it's kind of insane, because up until about four months ago, I swore I was going to be a beaver. But then I realized that it's really difficult to find OSU's theater programs, and I still want to be involved in theater, even if I'm not going to major in it. And U of O has a lot of theater programs, and little ones, and big ones, and a whole bunch, so it's easy to get involved there. But my friends at OSU can't find the theater department. And so, I'm going to go to U of O, and I'm going to be a duck, and it's going to be cool! And I get to keep two of my really good friends, and Hannah, who was a really good friend of mine too, but she went to college last year. And so she's already there right now being a duck. She's also kind of the queen of the world, so she can be wherever she wants and be whatever she wants, wherever she is. She could be a duck at OSU. Nobody would question it. Maybe. I'm gonna read my Harry Potter book and go to bed, because I have to get up early and go to work tomorrow morning. Good night.